Hi there, and welcome to the second episode of Q&A in C, a monthly show in which I will answer questions I found in the comment section of my videos and questions that my Patreon supporters asked. All the comments in this video originate from those five videos, so make sure to watch them in case you don't understand the context of certain questions. At the end of this episode, I will also crown the top three best comments of the month. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Matthias asks, I bought a 5 volt 15 amp power supply. Is it safe just to connect it to my Raspberry Pis? Do I need to create some protecting circuits? If you're careful with your connections, you don't necessarily need a protection circuit. But since your power supply can deliver up to 15 amps, you can also easily damage your Raspberry Pi's PCB, in case you accidentally create a short circuit. So just to be on the safe side, it would be a good idea to add a 2 or 3 amp fuse. The comment section asks, when are you going to upload a video about the quadcopter project? First off, I have to say that it was a mistake of mine to publicly state that I'm working on such a project, because those questions are really annoying. And I don't know when I'm going to upload it either, because I haven't worked on the quadcopter project in like four weeks, because all my latest projects were very time consuming. So just enjoy the upcoming videos and sooner or later it will happen. Paul asks, do you have any tech travel ambitions, places to see or work in? What I think is the most interesting difference in electronics, depending on the location, is the wiring. For example, how tidy it is, what kind of wire is used and what safety features are included. Because of that, I think every location has its unique charm. But most interesting would be the USA with their questionable 120 volts AC mains voltage, China with their huge electronics manufacturing industry and Japan because of their weird electronics gadgets. The comment section asks, are you in a rush? You speak way too fast. No, I was not in a rush. It's just my style of video production. I try to keep it short and fast paced to keep it interesting and not bore the viewer with 45 minute videos. But you can always pause the video, look at the schematic or what I just presented and think about it or even replay the video several times. Brent asks, who on YouTube do you enjoy watching? DIY electronics or otherwise? My favorite YouTuber is Afrotech Mods, who was also a big inspiration for my own videos. So I highly recommend you to visit his channel. I also like watching Electroboom, sometimes EV Blog, because his videos are often very long and nobody got time for that. Also, I like to make stuff and the Ben Hack Show. Chris asks, what actually excites and enthuses you? When it comes to electronics, it is definitely the moment when a circuit works just like you planned it after the first power up. It is rare, but it's awesome. Christopher asks, has there been any issues with your Delta printer? I had a couple of problems with leveling the heated beds, but I solved those almost completely by using all of the six mounting holes. But aside from that, the printer still works great. Okay, let's move on to the top three comments of the month. Number three from Volage11. Mount the LEDs, magic, 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 magic. Drill some holes, magic, 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 magic. And finally, magic, magic. Then it's completed. <laughs> I don't know why, but I think that's funny. Number two is the obligatory Arnold Schwarzenegger comment from Benny, who says, the Terminator is also an electronics wizard. Who knew? Great job, keep it up. Awesome. And the number one comment is a response from Jake to a discussion which was about buying pre-made boards instead of building your own circuits. It was a quote from Richard Feynman which says, what I cannot create, I do not understand. And with those well-chosen closing words, let's end this Q&A in C episode here. I hope you liked it and I will see you next time.